keep their standards high and respect themselves as well. Yeah. I love that part. And I want, yeah. And I want to go to confidence one more time because something that I, again, that I wrote down, and I, I don't know if you touched on it, maybe you did a little bit, but maybe you can just elaborate a little bit more on it. What, what does confidence really mean to you? When you think of the word confidence and when you really look in the mirror, what, what do you see? What, what do you see about confidence? What do you see in yourself? What I see in myself is, so, so what confidence really means to me is showing up authentically in our fullest self-expression. And what I see in myself is somebody who has the courage to change their whole entire life route and, you know, risk failure, risk all of these things and just have that confidence. Even, even when I started in the business, maybe I didn't have a lot of confidence but it was that courage to start to step into that self-expression of myself and that over time it built into that confidence. And I just see somebody who went for their dreams and who's still going for their dreams because, you know, we keep going. Um, yep. But having that confidence to put me first and to risk being judged, to risk failure, to risk all these things that I'm scared of, but to knowing that I have some, there's something bigger than myself, a bigger purpose, a bigger passion that, I'm desiring to go for and having the courage to do that. Yes. And I think I say this every single episode, and I probably am going to continue to say this every single episode, but, you know, God equips the call, and, and you, whatever, whatever he is giving you, you are ready for, and you are, you're just doing amazing. So before we wrap up today, and again, thank you so much, Danielle, for coming on. Okay. Um, but one more thing I want to just focus on today is, what, what advice would you give to someone who feels like they're not good enough? Like, I, you know, Danielle, I just, I really don't have confidence. I don't, I don't feel like I can go on with my life. If that, if someone was in front of you today like that, what would you say to them? Mm. I would say to them that they are enough and I would say that they are enough and one of my favorite things is to look back in your life with proof at things like it just, it's what they're not confident about um, and just look back in their life with proof of where they have succeeded in their life before where they may not have believed they could and where they proved themselves wrong. And maybe it was something as simple as learning to ride a bike and they kept falling off their bike and they never thought they'd get it and then one day they did. And just they proved literally their belief wrong. And so when they say, I'm not good enough, I'm not confident, you can see that that belief has been proven wrong before. And once again, it can be proven wrong again. Hope that made sense. Yeah. But I would just yeah, remind them that they are enough. They were created for a reason, for a purpose, and they are already worthy just as they are without any of that external accomplishments, any of those external achievements, and to start to find that really within themselves. Yeah, definitely, absolutely, and, and not only that, but you don't, girl, you don't need validation from anyone. You are enough. You are perfectly and wonderfully made. You're perfectly wonderfully made in God's eyes and, and God's image, and you don't, you don't, why do you, why do you need to why do you need validation from someone else? Just because someone's grass is, appears greener on the other side on social media doesn't mean that their grass really is greener. Um, it looks like something Danielle said. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, just stay in your lane and, and, and keep focused because when you look at someone else's grass who's made who is made be greener on the other side just because they're saying it on social media, you know what, mm. it, it they're just putting on a show and unfortunately I think that's a lot of what social media is and I just I want to encourage you today to, to stay balanced and to stay in your lane and just to say that you are enough keep going keep searching don't give up God loves you if you guys need anything please feel free to reach out to us um, go ahead and go on our website at allsoulsonfire.com guys we're officially launched and we're officially ready to change the world we, you guys can send in prayer requests, you can send in praise reports, um, I, and I'll respond personally with you guys. You can check out other episodes. I'm also going to put Danielle's information on there, guys, if you do personally want to reach out to her, and if you feel like you just really need some more, another confidence, confidence boost in your life, she will be there for you guys. But thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much, for Danielle, for being on the show. We really appreciate you. Uh, thanks again, guys, and 
stay tuned for the next episode. I'll see you there.